Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool, and I uh, just want to do a quick update and uh, eventually getting into a rant here. I said I don't normally do rants, but I, I doubt it'll become a regular thing because I don't usually have that much to uh, to say. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, my uh, first The Penalty Box movie is on its way, and uh, I wanted to uh, ask... Like, because I don't know exactly how I want to do it. I don't want to do them as minute reviews because I don't want to be able to get a strike during a penalty box. That will just be an endless cycle of me continuing to get strikes. I don't know if I want to do them as distracted reviews because I, I sort of am happy that I've retired that format. Um, although I do like doing announcements in this way. Um, it makes it, I think, a bit more... Um, a, what that elevator was? A bit more lively. Um, as you can see by that little thing where I just had a, 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 I had to think of something else there for a second. Um, so I'm not totally certain what way I want to do it. I might just write out a text review and then read it, but that seems sort of boring. You know, everyone does that. Then I become... I basically become Movie Bob. Nothing wrong with Movie Bob, but, you know, um, everyone basically does that. Nice. Um, but, uh, so I... Uh, you can feel free to make a suggestion of how you think I should go about it. I, I'll illuminate on it, and when I get the movie, I'll decide on it, at least a format to test on. Second thing I want to uh, talk about is, um, anyone who watched my previous announcement video where it was, uh, when I retired, um, reviews, and I talked about, uh, the, compar the comparison show. I would compare two similar to analogs. I, uh, I have shot, uh, like five of them, and I haven't really been happy with any of them. Um, so, uh, I, uh, I, I'm not totally certain what it is. I think one of the things is, is, like, I'm also comparing, like, you know, like, products. Like, uh, you know, I had, uh, one of the things was I had, a uh, um, uh, Milk Duds and Junior Caramels, which are, you know, two similar candies. And I tried them, and I'm like, okay, this is why they're different. But I don't know how interesting that is. And then, for the movies, I had the two things that everyone thinks about when you think about movies that are, have a, a very similar theme which is um, The Illusionist and The Prestige. And maybe just starting with that one wasn't a great idea because there's no comparison. The Prestige is awesome. The Illusionist is merely very good. I'll even say very good. Um, you know, uh, so I didn't have a whole lot to say. It's like, okay, pretty much in every category that matters, uh, this one is superior. Um, so... I was shooting it, and I sort of partway through, I sort of ran out of things to say, and I'm like, wow, this was really short. It was only a few minutes. So I have to sort of monkey wrench this format before I really introduce it. Oh, if I want to go in here. No, I'll screw it. Um, nice. But, uh, now the third thing, this is going to be a longer rant than my last one, um, which is, uh, some of you guys might remember this guy from the uh, early, uh, the late 90s uh, into the 2000s, who was popular back when I was first starting to read movie criticism back in, you know, 98 or whatever. Uh, a guy named Mr. Cranky, who is apparently still around. He's still kicking after uh, after 15 years or however long he's been doing it, um, which is good to see. Um, the thing is, uh, I remember, this is, I'm, I'm releasing this now because it's, it's tangentially related to uh, the review I just put up, to Tarzan and the Lost City. That was a movie that came out in 1998 when he was still in, you know, he was, uh, he was uh, uh, doing reviews back then too. And he said, uh, and I quote, and I have the quote written down here, uh, If Jane March isn't evidence that at least some humans are descended from chimps, who is? And I remember at the time, I was just like, wow, that's so totally out of line. Um, I mean, it's Mr. Cranky. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's supposed to be, I suppose, satirical or whatever. But I was like, wow, that's uncool. Because um, as I said, I think she's lovely, you know. In sort of, I guess in sort of a, in a, in a, not, in a not in an utterly obvious way, but, you know. Whatever, I won't make apologies for that. But that was, like, I remember the first time when I read something he wrote, and I was like, wow. Like, you're just, I'm just like... That's sort of just a jerk thing to say, and I thought part of the conceit of Mr. Cranky was that he wasn't simply a jerk, and just like, I'm just gonna poop on things people like, or whatever, which, at the, even at the time, that's, that was the only time I ever thought that, so, I don't think that is true. Um, 
And then I kept reading, you know, uh, for a few more years. And then, uh, in 2004, he released a book with, uh, an X number of his reviews in it. And then, uh, but he, all the reviews that were in the book, he took off his website. Um, this might not have been his decision, or it might have been something about the thing, but I was like, okay. Ebert published, uh, Hated Hated, uh, and he didn't take his reviews off his site. Uh... And so I'm like, wow, uh, I guess you think you're better than Ebert, or, you know, you just have a thought, it's like, wow, that's, that's, that's uncool. Another time when you're just like, wow, that's sort of uncool. And that was sort of where I lost favor with, uh, with him, and I stopped watching him. Uh, and I'm just like, whatever, I, I was just like, I don't need this. Uh, if, if this is how he's gonna, he's just gonna take stuff away that was formerly free, because he wants to charge for it, I'm just like, I mean, this is 2004, I probably wouldn't be so judgmental now, but this is what I thought seven years ago. Uh, when this happened, I'm like, wow, how incredibly weak. Um, and then I didn't go to, I would visit him, like, every, once every two years or something, just randomly. Um, and, uh, just to see what was up. And I went back there because I remembered this, uh, this review, and I looked up on Wikipedia. Uh, and it said, oh, uh, in 2008, Mr. Cranky said he was going to sell the site. Um, well, not sell the site, but he was like, okay, we're going to shut down. But then it never shut down, it got uh, revamped, and then it said that there would be Mr. Cranky reviews from other authors. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, how does that work? I mean, I'm like, you're Mr. Cranky. You know, how does it, uh, how does it work to have other people, uh, uh, reviewing things on this thing? And I actually, uh, I would flip through some of the old reviews that I had missed. And, uh, he would have, prior to this, the... One bomb, two bomb, three bombs, four bombs, then dynamite, which would be the worst. Until, I forget what movie, I think it might have been Blair Witch 2, uh, had him introduce the, uh, the nuke, the nuke, uh, uh, review, which became his, then his worst, which he gave to things like I Am Sam, other movies which he hated with a fiery, unending passion. Um, but, uh, as I, uh, and I go back and I look through some of the nuke ones. Like, what else did he give nukes? I like that it looks like nukes are coming out a lot more frequently. He gave a nuke to District 9. And then he also gave a nuke to Inception. And I am like, alright. Uh, aside from the fact, like, this is, uh, giving up on the fact that, for a moment, that uh, Mr. Cranky may now be many reviewers. I was like, okay, Mr. Cranky has now become a troll. Uh, even in the first, when he first started, he would occasionally give one bomb star, uh, one bomb reviews to things like, let's say, American Splendor, Gattaca, Mulan, Quill. So he would occasionally, but he would simply point out what was wrong with good things. There's nothing wrong with that. In that way, he's almost like a proto Yahtzee. But uh, I'm back here. Well, I might warp to another level now. I mean, not. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, you were just here." That's right. I'm totally unoriginal. You know what? Alright, oh, I, I was here before. I don't know if I want to actually play Inferno, but whatever. Uh, where were we? You know, he would point out things that were wrong with good movies, thus making him something of a proto-Yahtzee. Which was good, it was very useful, it was about, you know, it was, a, it was, it was, it was interesting, too, because every, every good movie has something wrong with it. Pretty much. Oh, fuck me. Alright, where was I? Um, but then I look up on his, uh, on his, uh, oh shit, I forgot that was there. I look up on his site, and I finally find at the bottom of the page it has authors. Um, and it has the five other people who also write under the Mr. Cranky handle. On the reviews, there is no indication which one wrote it, either. I mean, uh, still, the main guy who was Mr. Cranky, his name I'm not going to say, because, you know, for, for the instance of this, he's just Mr. Cranky, and... It's not that he was ever anonymous, it was just a, uh, norm de plume, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but, uh, come on. But, um, he, uh, you know, the other reviewers, have none of them have, have put up more than 30 reviews, maybe. Um, and, uh, so he's still in charge of the vast majority of them, but one of the reviewers is the guy who wrote the the District 9 review. Now, the thing is, I've made peace with the fact that some people didn't like District 9. Doug Walker didn't like District 9. Also, I want to take this opportunity to apologize 
to someone who I'm certain isn't watching this, Kate Stark, who during um during Desert Bus, I said, hey, what's the worst movie you ever saw? And she said District 9, and the entire room turned on her. And I'm so sorry, Kate Stark. I hope you can forgive me for that. You can feel free to not like District 9. I have now made peace with the fact that people might not like it. I'm not saying that I can't make peace with the fact that people wouldn't like Conception. That's not what I'm saying either. But based on the criticisms uh, in the review itself... Holy crap, I'm gonna get killed. Um, uh, based on the criticism in the review itself, they are just paltry. And just the the dimmest criticisms, like, almost imaginable. Oh, God. Um, but then I look, this one was actually written by the original Mr. Cranky, by the, by the actual guy. Not one of his, uh, not one of his, uh, uh, not one of the lampreys hanging onto his coattails and taking the same name. Well, none of them have a name on them. There's just simply, there's no indication who actually wrote it. And it's like, there's a, uh, a fundamental a need to be able to trust what it is the critic is saying, and if it's a, a critic with conceit, a la Mr. Cranky, you need to know what the rules are. Um, and in the case of Mr. Cranky, the rules were just he hated everything. Oh, this is going to be bad for me. He hated everything. Is it now the fact that, uh, that he, uh, he will give a very good movie a very bad review, and a very bad movie a very good review? Because he did give uh, one star to Fast Five, not one star, one bomb to Fast Five, and I, but I don't remember if it was the, the 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 one who was actually him or one of his uh, or one of his proteges who's simply taken on the mantle. I don't know who it is who's saying it unless I go look it up on the page and find out. Okay, who actually said this? You need to know who it is you're actually hearing say a criticism. You have to have a uh, an identifiable thing. You have to be a person. You have to be someone that you can trust is saying these things. I am dead. Oh no, I might still be dead, but. I am dead. So at this point, is there any... So at this point, is there any reason to uh, to go to Mr. Cranky any longer? No, there isn't. If he is not a troll, then we've simply lost uh, the ability to discern who is actually coming to dinner at this point. Well, I, I didn't bring this up. Uh, we have a guy here in, uh, in New England, a TV show called The Phantom Gourmet, where he's a food critic who, uh, nobody knows who he is, but allegedly, he's it's always the same guy. Um, uh, now, you know, most food critics are anonymous, at least in how they look. That way, they can't get fabulous service when they come around. So, you know, to, uh, to expose who a food, a food critic is, is to, uh, is to basically ruin their career. And with the internet, this is a big problem. But, you know, if it turned out that the, the, the Phantom Gourmet was actually just three guys with varying different tastes and opinions and, and a determination of what, you know, and, and, you know, everything, that would be a crushing disappointment because then we don't know who do we trust? What are we actually hearing? Which of the three um, Phantom Gourmets are we hearing from? And that's why if Mr. Cranky is not going to be a single person, there's going to be many people, and it, we have to basically pull out the... Uh, Oh shit! We basically have to pull out the uh, the Rubik's cube or whatever to figure out who it is we're actually hearing from. He's useless, and a critic that is useless is pretty much the worst thing there is. Now, I might be useless myself, but it will always be me. I'm always going to be the guy. If you hear King Cool, it's me. You know, King Cool is not my, my my actual name, obviously, but at least with my con without my consent with my consent, there won't ever be just some guy pretending to be King Cool and writing reviews in my stead. Uh, that won't happen. But I think I have gone on long enough. Um, sorry I'm not as angry in this rant if you wanted me to get all hot and bothered. If you want to read a good Mr. Cranky review, I recommend this one. Go uh, read uh, the one for Tomb Raider 2, which is a nuke review, which is, is uh, very interesting. It shows Mr. Cranky at his best. But that time has passed, I'm afraid. And Mr. Cranky has long since slipped out of relevance. Thank you for watching. This really is King Cool. And please... Drive home safe.